Alrighty guys, welcome back. Today we're back here on Offered Outlaws once again, as you guys can see here. And today guys, we're going to be doing a little bit of a build on a new Chevy S10 here. As you guys can see, I don't really have many vehicles because I've just gone ahead and started a new account here on Bluestacks 5 with the new update. So, we're going to get to getting the collection, the storage barn, um, more full. Alrighty guys, so we're going to start off today with a C10. But before we hop right into today's video, we would just like to apologize real quick that I kind of did get off track about four days off track, maybe three, I believe, three or four days off track of my um, uploading daily goal, which I, you know, I've been accomplishing that goal for, I'd, I'd like to say, at least two months now, and, you know, it's been really good for the channel. But I am currently just now getting over being sick, was sick for those uh, three or four days, Good thing it wasn't much longer than that. Now I am just have just a little bit of a cough left, but I'm doing all right now. But I knew if I just laid down, rested, and got better that I'd be able to get back on track and make some more videos for you guys in no time. So I'm back at it today, back on Alfred Outlaws, and we're building an S10, to, or excuse me, a C10 today. So yeah, guys, if you guys do enjoy today's video, uh, leave a like and make sure to comment. Let me know that you did enjoy today's video, and uh, make sure to let me know what you guys do think of today's build when we're done with it. But yeah, guys, without further ado, let's hop straight into this. So moving on into Customize here, let's go ahead and enter Paint. We need to go ahead and tint the windows. Now, on my previous account, I did have a really beautiful S10 that was actually this color here. But I don't really want to go with that same color. So let's just go ahead and see. On a white, kind of does fit it. That looks all right. The reds kind just, just kind of makes it like stand out a lot. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to make it glossy, and let's just go with red for this build today. And we have the windows tinted. We are gonna go with a solid chrome for the wheels on today's build. So, so far it's looking all right. Now for the rims, let's see here. Big fan of these rims whenever I'm doing chrome rims. But I use them so often, I wish we had like a little bit more of a bigger selection of rims. Hopefully in the next update, I don't know. And I don't really know what build I'm going with for this, but just to be safe, let's go with like the drag slick type tires, you know? Because I kind of have something cool in mind for today's build. Now moving on into body customizations. Let's go ahead and... Oh, we don't want to do that. But we can go ahead and take off our front bumper. Um, and let's just keep our fender stock. Remove our rear bumper. We don't need uh, running boards or light bars or anything like that. So we're just going to go without it. If we could put a spare tire in the bed, I'd, I'd be all for it. But not really on the tailgate. And for the exhaust, dual straights out the rear, as you guys can see, looks good. Modernize it a little bit, put some new LEDs in the headlights in the front. Gun rack in the back, toolbox, um, no, we do not want those mirrors. And $25,500 later, that's it for body customization, colors, wheels, tires, and stuff like that. Now moving on into upgrades, we're going to keep this thing just a stock normal, not stock, excuse me. We're not engine swapping it, let's just say that. So it's not going to be a diesel, but it is just going to stay a, a normal Chevy gas engine. So, And actually maybe with a blower, I have to yeah, uninstall the turbo. And let's switch it up a little bit with a blower for our gas engine here. Now for suspension, what suspension type do we want? I think we want... Solid Axle Pro Heavy Duty, and let's see here, Solid Axle Pro Heavy Duty, and let's see how tall we want to lift this thing, um, maybe right there, and just about right there. So that's it for height, for our wheels and tires, they're not going to be that big and overboard, let's just go maybe 1.2 for the radius, now for width, eh, 1.5. Let's do that. Now for rim size. Hmm, these tires are a little bit big. I might have to go taller with it. We'll, we'll see how it turns out. But for rim size, maybe not that big. But, you know, it's either go big or go home. But it's actually not turned out as I want it to right now. So let's go ahead and lift it a little bit more. See what else we can do to it. Yeah, let's just lift it all the way. Why not? For axis width, we're going to go 06. And would you look at that, now she's looking way better. Really with this type of truck, I wouldn't necessarily do a build like this, but it honestly doesn't look that bad. 
just real quick, I thought I'd crease the, uh, not too much, about 30,000, the stiffness, just a little bit, not too much, yeah, just about right there, now it's pretty level, okay, now the wheels and tires going to have to be just a little bit bigger, but it's okay, but what I did come here to do is make the shocks just a little bit bigger, not that much bigger, but like, uh, 1.8, now back to wheels and tires, now for the radius, well, it's getting kind of big right there, but let's just go 1.2, now let's see how far from 1.3, so like maybe right there, yeah, just trying to match them, because it's not exactly 1.3, not exactly 1.2, you know, so, but I want them equal, even, so, okay, that one's still a little bit bigger, and that's just about right, right there, just a tad bit wider on the width, bring it to 0.7, and there we are. So that is our first build, our first vehicle on the new account on BlueStacks 5 here on my PC. Yeah, so uh, that's it for the Red S, or excuse me, C10. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys did think of it. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy this video. Subscribe if you're new and you haven't already. And make sure to turn on those post notifications to never miss a new daily video from me. And with that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to measure this guy's day or night. And with that, I'll catch you guys very, very soon in the next one.